Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video is about the Misty Dungeon event in Genshin Impact. Uh, this video will basically be a complete guide to this event so that you guys will be able to clear the content easily and quickly without much trouble. With that said, let's get on with this video. There are 6 trials in total for the Misty Dungeon event. Two are unlocked today. Another two will come in a day's time, and another two will come in three days' time. Each trial has a theme to it. Today's is plunging and healing. The plunging trial gives a buff uh, for each plunge attack, and a healing trial basically gives you buffs when you keep your characters at a certain health and above. You are also given trial characters, 10 to pick from, and these characters you don't have to own these characters to use them. They are of course trial characters. Think of them as like the Zhongli that you get when you go through his story quests. One thing to note is that your weapon and artifacts do not carry over to these characters. The only thing that carries over are your constellations. Say for example, if I have a C6 Diona, I would have a C6 Diona for trial as well. If I have a C6 Mona, I would also have C6 Mona for trial. Another thing to note is that your talent levels do not carry over as well. Once you've clicked into the trial, this page will then appear. On the left side, you'll see the types of enemies that you encounter in this dungeon, and on the right side, the types of challenges that you can clear for rewards. Each time you clear a dungeon for the first time, you will be rewarded with 70 Primo Gems, and you will be rewarded with a further array of rewards for each challenge that you clear. In total, you'll be able to receive 420 Primo Gems from this event, and that is a lot of Primo Gems. Before you enter the dungeon, you will have to first set up your party. The only thing that you have to take note of is that resonances do not apply for this event. I will show you later in the video the characters that I used to clear today's two dungeons, so please do uh, stick around until the end of the video. First things first, before you attempt the dungeon, you have to know that there are 3 runes that you have to activate before challenging the final dungeon and they can be found by looking up and following the red lights that you can see in the dungeon. Next, there are things called benedictions. These are basically buffs that you can obtain in the dungeon. The yellow one is a revive and heal, the red one is a attack buff, the blue one is a movement speed buff, and the green one is a increase in the timer. Last but not least, there are things called traps in here and they can be disabled using elemental reactions. So if it's Electro, use Pyro, Pyro, Hydro, Hydro, Cryo, Cryo, use Pyro as well. So this is a clip of me doing the plunging trial. There is a challenge for this trial in which you have to kill 8 enemies by plunging and what I did was basically activate this wind stream and kept plunging all the enemies until they died. The characters that I use for this domain is Kaching as DPS, Beidou as pseudo shield and the counter, and I've never played her before, so I decided why not. Sucrose to clump all the enemies together because there are quite a bit of small light enemies in here, and Diona as a superconduct trigger and a healer. The general thing that I did for both runs was look for the movement speed buff so that I can traverse the domain faster. And I tried looking for the plunder buff as well, the attack boost buff. Sadly, in this run, I could not find the attack boost buff. One thing to note is that when you're traversing through this dungeon, you'll find these small glowing things on the ground. Those are basically like weaker versions of the benedictions and they're good for temporary use. So make sure to pick them up whenever you see them. For the plunging trial, there aren't many traps around the area. So you can relax and explore it to your heart's content.
This clip is a clip of me clearing the healing dungeon. For this dungeon, I swapped out Sucrose for Barbara for the extra heal because there is a challenge in which you have to heal more than 50k. There's also a challenge where you have to kill 8 enemies, 10 enemies actually, with your ult. One way to heal 50k is to intentionally take damage and use your Barbara's Q to heal yourself back to full health. Kaching, Beidou, and Diona all serve the same purpose as they did in the last dungeon run. As usual, I tried to look for the attack buff and the movement speed buff in this dungeon run as well. For this dungeon, there are now traps in here. So be careful when you're exploring and whenever you see them, just deactivate them by using elemental reactions. So that is it for today's video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a like down below and a subscribe to the channel will also be amazing. I feel like today's event was really interesting and I like all the elements that MiHoYo has put it in. And uh, with that said, thanks for watching, this is Ryu and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a nice day. Bye bye!